you ever wanted to know how this torus assembly goes together, this is the part that goes up against the engine here. And then we've eliminated the gear here, so we're just putting a block off plate um, that we made to get rid of the auxiliary drive there. It used to run the air conditioning. And then the oil from the engine has to come out through this raised ridge here. And then it comes through this little tube. And then that little tube goes in through the back of here. And then there's some oil passages in here and an O-ring that's on there that we've replaced. The old O-ring is a hard, like, plastic. Now it's all janked up. It was cracked, too. Um, there may be a shim here to adjust the gear lash. Um, there's a gasket under there, too, that we've already replaced. There's two screws under here that come out, and then that comes off. Um, there's a to get that part you have to pull the shaft out here but we've already got this part reassembled here and then the one side of the fan hooks to here uh, well a uh, turbine uh, I don't know what you want to call it um, so this this side is always spinning with the engine and then once this fills with oil the veins on the inside part that's spinning Let's say that's on there, and that's always spinning with the engine. And then once you fill this void in between with oil, now the oil can't help but also to spin. There's another one of these that's facing it. It can't help but not spin because it's in the same area. Kind of like if you took a fan and had it blowing on another fan, it would start to spin the blades on the other fan. Uh, but by having the oil in there, it causes resistance and drag. Uh, it's a torque converter is all it is. So the other half of the fan is spinning in another clamshell in there. If it's filled with oil, then it's spinning. If there's no oil in there, then it's not really spinning at all. And that's what the problem we have with this was, is that no oil was coming through. And then that oil, remember that little hole that I showed you where that comes through, and then it sprays, this is where the oil fills this cavity here. And then it'll drain out of here. Uh, it goes to that vernatherm or vernafe, I forget what it's called. Um, it's basically a thermostat that controls the opening and closing of this oil passage here to have oil in this cavity. And if you want to just run the fan all the time full speed, you can just put a pipe plug in here, which is what we have right now because we tested it, to eliminate the other part as a problem. Uh, and then when the other part is in there, so there's two tur turbines that go in there, turbines that go in there, and then this goes on here. Um, you have another bearing pressed in here, and then you'll have a seal, and that seal notoriously fails. So they make a kit. I have another a video on the kit where it comes with a new seal surface, so and an oversized seal to make up for the difference on there, so that you got a nice surface for it to ride on. Because they they just you know they're full of oil. A lot of oil pressure and they leak oil so anything you can do to stop it is beneficial so that uh, should pretty much just sum up how the tourist drive fan works on a GM bus um, it's a lot of parts 